Hey guys, Dustin here, and for today's Silencer Shop Authority video, we are looking at the rugged Oculus 22 suppressor. So the neatest thing about the Oculus 22 is the modularity of it. You pretty much have two suppressors in one. I mean, not really two that you can use at once, but you have it in its long configuration. That's about seven ounces and five and a quarter inches long, but you can take two inches off the front by taking off the modular adapter on the front, take this front cap off, put it on this portion, and now you have one that's just 4.3 ounces, and it will be a little louder, but it's cool to have options. Now, this is not a lightweight, light use suppressor being at seven ounces. That's twice as much as some other suppressors are, but it's for the hardcore use guys that if you're gonna use it for even belt fed full auto 22, you can do so. Uh, 17 HMR is no problem, 17 WSM, and so of course all the 22 your heart just desires. So it reminds me a lot of my Bowers USS suppressor, so we're going to put it up against that and see how they sound like uh, next to each other. But then in the short configuration, I gotta show you, I gotta just take it apart a little bit, it reminds me of the Bowers Biddy, which the Oculus in short configuration is still a little longer, but we're going to see how they perform today. Now part of the rugged design is that it is milled out of bar stock 17 4 stainless steel. The whole thing. So the baffles and everything. So the good thing about that is that you can clean it however you want. The owner's manual says just throw it for an hour in an ultrasonic bath and just let it go to town there. Sometimes I end up throwing mine in stainless steel tumbling pins, which would be fine here. And I'm not saying the tube. This is the baffles themselves. Now the baffles are constructed where they click together and lock at a certain way. So you're always going to get a return to zero. And in the main portion of the tube itself, now I did cheat and push this out a little earlier with a stick because these had been caked in the back there, but I hadn't seen this on other suppressors where you actually, your baffles actually key in to the tube at a certain point so that you're always getting a return to zero. There it is. It's going to click in and then you're going to have that exact return to zero every time. However, the front does not have that keyed in spot. So what I would do when I'm putting this back together, if you're concerned about accuracy, put the tubes back together first, find out where your keyed slot is that matches the uh, suppressor baffles, and then stick them in this, the, the extension of your modular portion, and then you'll know everything is aligned and ready to go again. Now, the baffles designs themselves should keep all that crud, lead, and carbon fouling on the inside of the baffles and not sticking to the outside of the tube so you can always take it apart no matter how many rounds you shoot through it in theory at least right we know and it, sometimes we're just going to have to take a little hammer and get those baffles moving which i had to earlier but pretty cool design and it should hold up well let's see how it sounds so we have to start with the bare muzzle just so you know the how it sounds unsuppressed right this is the volkortsen summit and a carbon fiber barrel man it's so light and, and balanced, and it's that straight pull bolt. You can check the video out anyway. Let's shut up and shoot. Oh, I was expecting suppressed because I never shoot it unsuppressed. <laughs> Give it a few more. Civil Quartz and Scorpion, just bare. Cool. Yeah. I'm not fond of short suppressors on pistols. It's just loud. It 
so I mean there's a use for this if you're on your own property and you just didn't want a bulkiness of it didn't need to be stealthy or anything and you just had to have something when you're hiking whatever and not the grab ear pro okay but I like it quieter now we can't test a full auto rated suppressor and not go full auto <laughs> that's great I, I could hear the action, but that's it. And the steel, that's funny. I almost said loud configuration, but it's true. So short configuration in a short barrel is loud configuration. Definitely not stealthy, but still hearing safe. Options are nice, but I'll show you where it's really nice to have a short suppressor. Short suppressors are great on long barrels. You've got more volume here. You, they're more of your bang gets absorbed by the barrel itself. And this is where our Bowers Biddies live, on the ends of these long Henry Frontier 22s. Same ammo, listen to it. I don't know if we would hear a difference if we put the long suppressor on, but now that I've said something, we gotta try it. <laughs> I like this. I'm not supposed to shoot stuff, sorry. Well, I almost forgot 5.7. Had to go grab my wife's guard here, Banshee. I keep calling them guards because I had the like the very first ones. But uh, let's see what it sounds like. This is long configurations, uh, standard American Eagle ammo. Sounds good. Of course, you have a lot of the uh, ballistic crack. I'm leery to put it in short configuration on 5.7. We're gonna do it anyway. I will say, short configuration looks good though. That looks cool. Let's see if it's brutal. Okay, yep, wouldn't do that. Nope, we're good, one's good. Nope. <laughs> Had to get the Air Pro in. That was, that was no, no fun. But for comparison's sake. Yeah, not a hearing safe. So something that I realized after shooting a bit was I'm not hearing a first round pop. A lot of times you'll hear that first round pop, you know, the first round's a little louder than rest because it's igniting the oxygen in the suppressor. We've got this one aired out. It has been shot for a while now. Let's see if we hear a difference. First and second. Yes, there's a slight bit, but it's not like it's a loud and and a, a not you know a loud and quiet difference. So pretty cool. Sweet. For comparison's sake, the Bowers USS 22. So there you go guys, rugged Oculus 22. I love the ability to have options and change from long to short configuration. It's gonna be a hard use can, so you don't really have to worry about messing it up or overshooting it. And it looks like those baffles are gonna stay together and be easy to clean, especially if it's ultrasonic cleaner or something like that. MSRP is gonna be $4.99, but of course you're gonna find a better price over at Silencer Shop. Go to silencershop.com and they make buying a suppressor easy as buying on Amazon and waiting through all those infringements for you. So I guess that's all there is to it. If you got a comment, remember to leave it. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Subscribe and all that stuff. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. And you just made it back together again. And the what is going on? I know what's going on. This is Quiet 22. <laughs> Oh my god!
gosh, it's moving so fast. Oh, that's right! <laughs> Yeah!